Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne. After 40 episodes, it all comes to this. Arthas, Kale, Vash, and Illidan at the base of the Ice Crown Glacier. And one more mission to go. Time's running out, Anubarak. We've got to get inside the throne chamber before Illidan does. The throne chamber lies within the frozen peak at the center of the valley. It can only be opened by activating the four enchanted obelisks that surround it. Illidan's forces have already entrenched themselves near two of them. We'll need to drive them back and reactivate the obelisks ourselves. We're sorry to interrupt your meditation, Master, but all our forces are in place. Once the chamber is opened, we will destroy the Frozen Throne, as promised. Then the hour has come at last. After today, the Scourge will meet its end. Can you hear me out there, Arthas? Its end! Illidan has mocked the Scourge long enough. This time, the fear of death come back in. What is it now? Alright, so starting off this mission, all we have are a couple of ghouls, a couple of crypt fiends, and of course, our boys, Arthas and Anubarak, along with a couple of uh, meat wagons. And then, three acolytes just doing their own thing off, in, uh, off on the left-hand side. All we have to do is assault a really, really small Naga base that doesn't even have any production facilities. Uh, just a single tower guarding it. We even managed to keep all of the ghouls alive. Which will be more helpful than you think. Especially if we want to get this one done efficiently. And the other two features uh, of the start of this map are two items that the uh, Acolytes are hanging out around. We'll use one right now. Uh, they're Blight Skulls. They create a patch of Blight. This is an item that you can buy from the Tomb of Relics, actually, I was talking about, that you can use to do those really fun undead tower rushes and proxies. Um, we're gonna throw one patch of Blight down with a Nubarak, so we can start building Ziggurats right away, because we come up against the food cap pretty much right away, unless you start building those Ziggurats immediately. Uh, and we want to get our production rolling Pretty much running, uh, hit the ground running. There we go. Uh, build one more for good measure. Plus, we're gonna uh, use these for defense as well because we're gonna have minimal units back here except for the, the meat wagons when things come to attack us. And we will be attacked from multiple sides in this mission. I didn't quite leave myself enough room to build this until one of those ziggurats finishes and spreads the blight a little bit more. Summoning. Uh, and no pun intended, we are going to be running with uh, more or less a skeleton crew for a decent chunk of this mission, like the first half to three quarters of it. Uh, and that shouldn't be too bad for a while. I think we want to hit this left side obelisk first. This obelisk belongs to me. What is it now? And in doing so, heading north out of the base to the left side obelisk, ideally we would actually like to be attacked right now for the first time. Uh, if we could intercept those on the way to the obelisk, that would just make life a whole lot easier since we don't have any spirit towers built yet, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get that lucky. We do want to get a move on, because Illidan, the blue forces up there, are already starting to clear out the revenants. There are revenants guarding each of the four obelisks. Uh, and that means he is going to have a head start on claiming all four of them. So we're going to fight our own revenants. These ones we'll take some losses on. Try to minimize those. Going to interrupt that. Yes, and Hale is so good. Interrupting that channeling blizzard spell from the revenant. We'll even get a locust swarm going just to... Ooh, yeah, Arthas is... The lowest level he has been. Uh, he'll level up substantially throughout the course of this mission, but still, right now... I have to be mindful of how frail he is going up against a bunch of level 8 pluses as a level 2. Speak. Getting more and more depowered, even contrary to what he said in the cutscene. 
It will take me a few moments to activate it. I'll need protection while I work. So each obelisk has a circle of power next to it. Arthas has to spend, what was that, 25 or 30 seconds uh, total? Channeling while inside the circle of power in order to gain control of the obelisk. And it kind of freaks the scoreboard out for a second. It's an obel, and it's zero to one right now. Uh, so we're about to even it up, and then we're going to fight for control of these two. We've got to push on. The obelisk is now active and under our control. However, Illidan will likely try to take it from us. We must defend this point at all costs. And we're actually not going to focus on going right towards the southern obelisk, which would be the easiest one for us to take right now. Uh, since Illidan has fortified the north one, the other adjacent obelisk to the one we're claiming. You know, he sets up shop around all of those obelisks. He puts a lot of towers up, and he also puts production facilities up, and each one of those also has a gold mine, adja uh, a gold mine adjacent. So he tends to also build, like, small natural expansion bases. Uh, but instead, we're actually going to come back here, grab the other Skull of Blight, get ready for an attack. So we still don't quite have the Spirit Towers up. And the reason that we're going to be running with kind of a skeleton crew is not just because we are getting the base up and running. It's also going to be because we're going to devote quite a bit of gold to going back and defending the uh, the west side obelisk as well. Speak. Uh, we've intercepted this now. We can pull Arthas back and keep him pretty pretty safe and secure. We're going to put him on hold position make sure he doesn't get too involved. Aside from just spot healing. Again, we're just using him kind of as a support unit when he is not taking control of an obelisk. So we're going we're gonna to come back here uh, and use that other Skull of Blight to create a patch right near the obelisk we claimed. And then we are going to send some extra acolytes out to start building towers uh, and then spirit towers, upgrading them. So that, you know, someone can't easily roll in here and just take this for free. They'll at least have to work for it when we move our forces out. And then we can go to the south. Actually, it looks like Illidan might be going to south instead of for the eastern one, which is his normal route. Uh, depending on how that goes, we might be able to take advantage of that. Ooh, this was a weird spot. Oh, because some of that's unbuildable terrain that we put the blight on. Ooh, I didn't account for that. Okay. Well, that's mine. Uh, once this first ziggurat's done... Yes. Oh, this is going to work out great, because this is 30 seconds where we can just clean out his army, and he can't support them. So this is going to be a real easy fight, and then a real easy pickoff on Illidan. He's essentially disabled for 30 seconds. <laughs> it's like free uh, crowd control, and then we could just steal the obelisk back. Uh, meanwhile, we're being attacked from the eastern flank of our base. I have spirit towers defending us, plus the two siege, te uh, the two meat wagons we left back there. Oh, this works out super great. Is mine. Damn. Hello, if we were a little bit faster, we may have you killed him while he was channeling. Uh, but no, he got skeletons out. And his metamorphosis off. And he's mana burning a Nubarak. Ah, at least we have Locust Swarm going, so it's not like the mana burn actually matters that much. Cool, and now we have Illidan dead for a while. Won't have to worry about him attacking. This actually worked out super well. He usually goes for that eastern obelisk. Uh, and you take the southern one, and then it goes tied two to two. But like this, we can now just claim this for basically free. He did all the hard work clearing the revenants out, and we just picked off what was left. Uh, we, we picked up the scraps. Now we can go straight to the eastern one. Another obelisk has been activated. Damn, that is... Serendipity at work. So I love the format of this mission. It is, it's another one where you don't do anything else like this in the game. It's it's unique. Just isn't done elsewhere. Oh, they did start building here. Uh, we're even going to construct a haunted gold mine just to spread a little bit of extra blight now. 
so we can construct more ziggurats and spirit towers around this uh, this uh, new southern obelisk we've claimed. In this mission, it really ends on a tremendous bang. Uh, so this is just this giant power struggle, this big tug of war for control of the four points of the map at once, and it doesn't have to be all four at once. Uh, it has to be four zero by the end of this. At last. So you can't just be king of the hill. You have to be king of four hills at the same time. And so it usually goes like you take two, Illidan takes two. And you start off with this kind of tied game. And then both of you fortify your positions. And then it's this knockdown, drag out fight for control of the third. And then when you try to take the fourth, they're counterattacking the other obelisks or they're mustering all of their armies at once to repel you off of the fourth point. It's so great. And it can last. Like, if you just keep trading points, taking one of theirs while losing one of yours, this mission can just go and it becomes this tremendous war of attrition. Really has this great grand finale feel to it. Like, they nailed this one. Aw, oh, and we're gonna clean up because all they did was send Spellbreakers and Archers. Towers, some of them are getting a little bit low, but... Shouldn't be too much of a problem for too much longer. Soon enough, they're not even gonna be able to afford to send... Uh, small parties, small raiding parties at us. Uh, in the meantime, we do have to tech up to a Black Citadel eventually. You run. Just because I would like to reinforce with... Ah, son of a bitch. Well, he, again, kind of took care of a lot of the heavy lifting there. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to assault him again. He, his metamorphosis cooldown is not up yet. Uh, and he is channeling, so we'll get there soon. We'll be able to start working on his army while he is not available to defend them. Or to even help them out. So this is a nice advantageous fight for us. Arthas is slowly leveling up once again. And once again, it doesn't matter that we're getting mana burnt on a Nubarak because he already has this Locust Swarm going. And once again, we show up just like vultures to feed on his scraps. He took the Obelisk for now, but this is going to be really easy for us to reclaim. As long as I am mindful of Arthas. And the fact that I have no potions in this mission, I uh, kind of use them all. Yeah, good. And hey, Arthas is back to level 6. So that means eventually, once he gets a little bit of mana back, uh, we will have an even more formidable army, and his army can become ours. Uh, in fact, at his final obelisk up there in the north, He's going to have a bunch of uh, Royal Myrmidon guards, the really big, beefy green ones. Uh, and if we take those out really quickly, if we just burn those down. Holy shit, he already has towers up. Uh-oh. Uh, if we take those out, they become ours for a little bit. Once again, another gold mine. Uh, so once we are settled... In the east and to the south. We'll send some more acolytes further up here, construct another haunted gold mine, and get this spirit tower train rolling. So we have some nice defensible positions. And we have three out of the four obelisks we need. Now this is the hard part of the mission, though. Getting all four at once is not easy. It's it can be somewhat easy to have three to one, a three to one score. Getting that final one without losing any of yours in the process. That's the trick here. Uh, we're going to try to pull some of the pressure off of my meat wagons I finally brought over. Just sending this crypt fiend out to die. The sacrificial roll. Okay. So all the reinforcements should arrive in a second. Rise up, my warriors. This is a lot like Lost Temple. Like that cross shape in the center. And then at the very center is the door to the, the base of the Frozen Throne. 
Ice Crown Citadel. Okay, so the Naga are done. We still have one siege tank left, which is useful because that north position is fortified with a lot of towers and a lot of Naga production. Yes, Master. I st I'm not sure if we're ready to take it just yet, but mm, we'll give it a shot. Arthas is getting better because of that unholy aura. I wish only to serve. If it really gets too dicey, you know, uh, the Rod of Necromancy or one of Anubarak's beetles, I could always uh, skill a point into Dark Pact and just sacrifice one of those and get a lot of HP back for Arthas. That's all going to depend on whether or not I get enough XP for another level before he uh, becomes endangered again. I think we're going to go for this. Instead of sitting back and just teching up. At last. We're waiting for the tech to be done. More gold is what no one orders me around. Frost so first we want to try to lure out Yeah, those big Myrmidon Royal Guards. Fine. Wanna try to uh, lure the army out. Summoning. While sieging uh, the buildings. If we can just focus fire some of these down and get good breeze dead off. No one around. This is going okay. Uh, at last. As long as this is Ooh. Shit. No one Gotta use it. Now you said. I wasn't getting him out of there. I didn't pay I mm, didn't pay him enough mind. Still kind of underestimating uh, the enemy, or rather overestimating how squishy Arthas is. It's fine, we'll get him back there. We'll just keep things nice and clear for his return, for his imminent arrival. So far, so good, though. Uh, it looks like they're opting to just heavily reinforce this base. Oh, the pathing the, my units are taking to get here is not good. Uh, they're coming around the opposite side and going through all the towers and stuff to get here. Instead of coming up around the, uh, the right-hand side. So that's not amazing for me. But we've cleared the army out pretty well. A couple of towers should not be that bad to deal with. Oh, I would still like them to not be taking this route around. Ah, that kind of forced my hand. Whatever, we'll take this tower, both of these towers. Oh, it looks like there's one more uh, south of the circle of power. Eh, don't love that. Don't love that. And Arthas is back. He's back among the living. Shit. This is what happens in this mission, though. It's okay. We've damaged them a little bit. But we have to turn around. We have to turn around and defend the southern position. They're being slowed down, so we shouldn't lose it. Or if we do, we just take it right back. Sucks that we couldn't take the north in one go, though. That would have been easily the fastest I have ever done this mission. Ah, and we are... Well, we're not going to lose the eastern side, uh, but we're going to lose our defenses there, so we really have to make sure Illidan goes down in this uh, upcoming fight. Oh, Arthas came over here. Vengeance is all I have left. No, we want Arthas going straight south. Oh, Illidan's waiting for us, too. He's not going to uh, claim the obelisk. <laughs> I don't know if that's the AI just being good or if his pathing is messed up. <laughs> oh, shit, the rest of my forces haven't quite made it yet, and Arthas is snared. Didn't quite get that pincer right. This is okay. This is okay. So now we're all good. Yeah, I should probably do this. Speak. Win this fight definitively instead of uh, trying to be greedy and hold on to the Locust Swarm for the next time we go after the north side. 
Hey, on the bright side, Arthas is back up to level 7. And we reanimated a real good unit. Oh, yeah. That's a fucking good one to grab. Beef man. The heavily beefing Naga. And now we have uh, abominations to help us out the next time we go after this base. Uh, so this should be an easier assault than before. We can just put all these ziggurats back up. Yeah. Oh, and we're finally in low upkeep, like 20 minutes into the mission. Alright, no Illidan. Uh, and the base was already half destroyed, so uh, they rebuilt and... Uh, Remax pretty well. So it's not be, gonna be quite as easy as I thought, but we should have this. We also have a bigger army coming into this, I think, than the first time. Uh, so we're gonna get all of the Crypt Fiends up here, and we're gonna send one Crypt Fiend in at a time to pull them out. They also have way less to work with, to be honest. Uh, and less beefy units. Shit. <laughs> well, next one's up. Uh, next script fiend, you go in. Get get in there. Yeah, lure him out. Nope, okay. We can keep doing this. They're immune while they're up in the air. <laughs> while they're up in the air. Do they have the... Oh, they had the mana for a fourth cast of Cyclone. Come on, come on. Get out, uh, get out here. Get out of range of towers. Come on. This is... What a poke so battle. Fucking playing footsies so with them. There we go. We're going to focus fire this dude down. Our Locust Swarm is not back up, but Arthas is. Reanimate Dead is. So good. Yeah. Pick off as many of these as possible so we can get the best Reanimate Dead that we can. Uh, one of our. Abominations coming fresh out of the slaughterhouse, took the left hand path around. So he's just, I don't know, drawing fire? Sure, let's just have him go after this tower since he's already here and he's slowed down so heavily. He's gonna be a distraction for us. That's a pretty solid raise dead. And we have the locust swarm up once again, so this should be a crushing win. Uh, the only problem is we haven't seen Kale's forces yet, which is concerning. Once they move in, I think I'm going to send Arthas right at the circle of power. And then the rest of my units can just buy time for him. In fact, I'm also going to death pack one of these raised units. Get pretty much all my health back and go. Perfect. There is Kale. Uh, now my army and Anubarak just have to buy time for Arcus. We have 20 seconds to go. As long as not- Oh shit, there's a tower up here and I cannot send anyone to deal with it. Is this gonna be okay? Just one tower? Just one? Eight seconds. Oh shit, I may have fucked up! Three... Come on! <laughs> There's two seconds left! Oh no! Well... I think that took like 10 minutes to to re-up and revive a Nubarak and Arthas, but damn. That was a worthwhile risk to attempt at the end of this. Either way, that was gonna be amazing. Uh, this time, I should have this. There is no reason to fail again. Oh man, there's always gotta be one moment like that. So I'm not gonna be giving any long goodbyes during the credits because this LP is 40 parts of me just gushing, letting you all know exactly how much and why I love this game. And there's a bunch of really good stuff coming in the ending. Uh, and stick around for the credits as well, please. Um, this, what you've seen is a small piece, just the single player of my favorite game of all time. Uh, and it means a lot to me. <laughs> game. 
Thank you all for watching. Hit the bell. Uh, get your likes in, your comments, your subscriptions. Favorite it. Share it. Dread it. Run from it. The end of Warcraft 3 comes all the same. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one. We've done it in Ubarak. The throne chamber is open. This is the hour of the scourge. The frozen throne is mine, demon. Step aside. Leave this world and never return. If you do, I'll be waiting. I've sworn to destroy it, Arthas. It must be done. Never.
storm, earth, and fire. Heed my call. my call.
Heed my call. 